Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the expected value of a probability density function and in this video we're going to find the value without using a calculator. Reading the question, we've got the probability density function f of a random variable x is given by f of x which is defined by the given rule. Find the expected value. To find the expected value of a probability density function, we need to use the formula. The integral from a to b, this is where the function is defined, of x times f of x dx. The function f of x is defined for x values from 0 to 4. And so the expected value is going to equal the integral from 0 to 4 of x times f of x, which is x plus 2 on 16 and then dx. Simplifying this, this is going to be the integral from 0 to 4 of x squared plus 2x on 16 dx. We can take out 1 on 16 since this is a constant and write this as 1 on 16 times the integral from 0 to 4 of x squared plus 2x dx. And now integrating this, this is going to be 1 on 16 times x cubed over 3 plus x squared from 0 to 4. And now subbing in the terminals, we're going to get 1 on 16 times 4 cubed over 3 plus 4 squared, which is 16, and then minus subbing in 0, we're just going to get 0. Simplifying this, this is going to be 1 on 16, and 4 cubed we can write as 16 times 4 over 3, and then plus 16. Expanding this, the 16s will cancel out, and so we're going to get 4 on 3, and then 1 on 16 times 16 is going to be 1, and so simplifying this, 4 on 3 plus 1 is going to equal 7 on 3. And so the expected value is going to be 7 on 3. And that's it for this question. If you guys want to strengthen your understanding on probability density functions, then log into the Maths Methods Club, where you can group past exam questions related to this topic. All you need to do is, from the main topic, select probability. And then from the subtopic, select probability density functions. And if you want to learn or practice take free questions, go to question type and select take free, and then click on filter. This is going to instantly group past exam questions from the take free sections related to just probability density functions. Go through these questions and see how many you can answer correctly. And if you get stuck, you can just watch the video solutions. I hope you found this video helpful, good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.